Cheers, guys. I do like being able to drink at work. All right, then, let's see if we can't get rid of 25 years of Japanese farts out of these seats. Um, why has that been cut? Ooh, 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 why are I wearing gloves and a mask? Diesel dog, he's a crazy dog. Ooh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode, and welcome back to the desert. We're here in Arizona. I finally found some time to sneak away and come back because there was somebody here waiting for me, longing for me, all alone in the middle of the desert with nobody to love them. It's the Acti mini truck that I bought when I was drunk on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> cost me six and a half thousand dollars and I don't know much about its history other than the guy that had it before me lived in an RV and basically towed it around and used it as his sort of second vehicle for just nipping around. Now it has got about 10 years worth of dust all on it, in it and around it. It's disgusting. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. There's still cigarette butts in the back. I don't even know if they came from Japan or not. So what my plan is today is to really get this thing cleaned up so we can have a proper look at it and see if that drunken purchase was in fact the right decision or have I made a terrible mistake by buying this questionable, weird little truck thing from the other side of the world. So in case you haven't seen that video from a few weeks ago, what we have here is a Honda Acti. This is a 1996 model and it was imported from Japan and it is called a K-Truck. Now in Japan, they have certain tax brackets based on your vehicle size and engine capacity. Well, this thing fits into the lowest tax bracket, making it the cheapest thing to drive out there. It is very utilitarian. As you can see, we have a bed here that has stuff in it, including, like I said, the cigarette butts, and I don't know where they came from. Now, the ironic thing is the K truck is actually more useful than my real truck, my Ram 2500 Mega Cab, the enormous truck that I own. And that's because this actually has a usable bed. Not only is it a usable bed, but these sides actually unclip and fold down. And with my truck, I have a bed in the back of it, as in a sleeping bed. And then in the back seat of the truck, they're folded down because he he has his bed. So essentially what I have is a two-seater sports car that I can go off-road in and sleep in. So this will, hopefully, if all things work out, become my sort of utility vehicle. Driving it from where I picked it up from to store it here, I did notice a few questionable clunks coming from the front end. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't break it. No, no, no. Does that wheel still look straight? Yeah. And given that the shock strut literally sits underneath the seat, so here is where it mounts, there is this thin piece of metal, and then here is your bottom. Just in case there is something wrong with this, I wouldn't mind checking it out for fear that this person will get um, a rather unpleasant experience. Now, as you can see, the inside is very much as I bought it uh, with the addition of a Diet Coke and an energy drink. Oh, and then this so that Diesel's bed can lay there so he can actually ride with me, which is hilarious because we barely both fit in here at the same time. But I do plan on making some sort of a platform that I can put in here that will allow me to put a bed on it for him so that he can be a little bit more comfortable and I can change gear without putting the gear stick up his bum. However, what I have had a chance to add is this, which is an Apple CarPlay device from CarpyRide and it is absolutely awesome. So this thing has a camera on the back, so it has a dash cam. It also has one that you can plug in to be a rear camera and reversing camera. I haven't had a chance to wire that up yet, but it is in fact right here. So I will put that somewhere down the back. I mean, no, not that this is the kind of vehicle where you need a backup camera because you can kind of see the whole car from the cab, 
but it is nice to have that. And the other nice thing is that when you're driving, you can just pull up the cameras on here. And that means right now, so that's my front dash cam, I can see what's in front and what's behind me all the time. I am so impressed with this, not only because it is a huge screen and it's very bright, but because the Apple CarPlay connects super fast to it. And in a truck like this that has literally nothing, it is very nice to have a nice big heads up display so I know where I'm going on my adventures. And what I think I'm gonna do, I have it on the suction mount here, but once I've cleaned off the dash a bit, it does come with a dash mount. And so I think I will stick it to the dash so that it's permanently mounted. It'll be a little bit more rigid than this extended suction cup. And that way I'll know that my dash cam is pointed straight out the front without any um, uh, obstructions. Come here, bud. Turns out this trail that I parked up on is really popular with side by side. So I keep on having to grab diesel because he does like to chase side by side i found out but anyway like i was saying that thing has been an absolutely awesome addition to the truck i can't wait to kind of permanently mount it and then run that rear camera it has all the goodies that a regular carplay thing will have so you can actually run bluetooth through it. it's got a microphone in there speaker the k truck is very loud so i can't exactly make calls using it but if you're in a regular car you could it also has android built in as well so you can download things like netflix and basically anything you can find on the google play store so if your passenger passenger was inclined they'd be able to watch a movie or youtube or anything else on the dash while you're on a road trip which is a very nice feature so if your car doesn't have carplay or the screen's really small or it doesn't work very well definitely go and check them out i'll leave all the links in the description below this was sponsored they did send it to me but you know if it sucked i would tell you and it legitimately doesn't suck so much so that i'm considering getting one for my golf because the screen in the golf is like this big it's tiny but i don't want to mess with like the oem stuff so this would be a great addition to get a much larger screen and also like i said to put that android in there as well which is nice because you know netflix and youtube and stuff even if you just parked up having lunch it's nice to be able to connect it to your phone to your hotspot and then watch stuff like that anyway i have access to a garage with some cleaning supplies where we can go through this thing and see if you truly can polish a turd or at least roll it in glitter are you ready smiles wherever we go. Well, I guess first things first, probably empty out the back. Uh, this Modelo was also not mine. I wish it was, but it was not. All right, here comes the fun part. Well, here it is, clean, sparkling. I do need to do the windows, but I am stoked on how good it looks. There's obviously the rust patches and stuff, but just don't look too close. From a distance now, now that the wheels, the tires are clean, I do need to put some tire dressing on. It looks pretty nice. So I now have the miserable job of tackling the inside because if the outside was bad, the inside is definitely worse. Now the positive is the fact that this is so small, so realistically there isn't that much to clean. But as you can see, everything is covered in just a layer of dust and sand from goodness knows how long. So I think probably what I'm gonna try and do is take the seats out because I know that they unbolt fairly easily. Get them out, I might be able to give them a uh, shampoo, get those looking a little bit nicer. This is a nice touch by the way, this little patch here so that when you slide in and out of the car you don't wear out the corner of the seat. I do like that, that's some good thinking. 
and I cannot tell you how nice it is to be able to use this garage to shoot in because it means that I don't have to be out in the elements while I'm doing the inside of my truck where, where I live, unfortunately, that's how I have to do it all the time. So this is a very, very nice touch to have this beautiful space all to myself. OG cigarette lighter. So if you're too young to remember these, the 12 volt wasn't ever for plugging in your GPS. It was for lighting cigarettes. So you'd push that in there, push the button in, and then, I don't know, 10 seconds? Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, five seconds. It comes out glowing hot, and then you could take your cigarette, you could light it, and that's what it's for. Crazy, huh? Look, look at how dirty it is. So this is what we're dealing with. Here is an HD view of the state of it. I mean, just the windscreen. I obviously just cleaned the outside. Look at how gross this is. Like everything is just covered in dust. Maybe I shouldn't put this light in here. <laughs> this is making me feel gross for the fact that I actually drove this thing around without cleaning it first. Yuck. I think first things first, let, oh. Oh, oh, look at that. Diesel, maybe we can figure something out with this for you, do you think? Um, why has that been cut? Wanna get vacuumed? Wanna get vacuumed? Well, I just noticed that it is now quarter past five on a Friday afternoon, which means it's the weekend. Cheers, guys. I do like being able to drink at work. I'm gonna attack this with a vacuum cleaner and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Just kidding, definitely need a shot back. That was scary, wasn't it, mate? It's a bit blowy. I'm pretty sure that is for the air conditioning because this here looks like it's some sort of a cabin air filter. Ooh, 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 why am I wearing gloves and a mask? I can see a little like condenser radiator in there, absolutely full of dust. And I'm guessing that that is for the air conditioning. Weirdly, the air conditioning works but holy moly, I need a brush. <laughs> yep, I am stressed, because that is what my air conditioning intake looks like. Alrighty, so yeah. This used to be some sort of air filter. So that, I believe, is my air conditioning condenser, which should have cold air blowing across it or clean air, should I say. But uh, it's kind of, kind of packed. So let's see if we can't get in there and give that a bit of a clean out. Okay, garage door is open, fan is blowing. <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad. So I've basically got all of the dry dust off as best that I can, and so now I've got to hit it with small purpose cleaner and a cloth and see if I can't get it clean. I did order a new cabin uh, air filter. That is what that's for. That is for your air conditioner. Uh, so I've done my best to clean that up. I mean, it's still pretty grimy. I'll get a little bit of APC in there and see if that helps, but um, the AC works. So it obviously, you know, is still okay, but It'll work a damn sight better now I've got all of that mess out of there. So next time you see this, hopefully, it should be sparkly clean.
All right then, let's see if we can't get rid of 25 years of Japanese farts out of these seats. Ew! I can still see a big stain right there. Let's see, is round number two any better? Clean cloth? This is not a magic trick. Ta-da! Whoa, look at that, that is actually amazing. That's way clean. There's still a stain there, but it's definitely taken the uh, surface crap off of it. Well, good morning. It's a new day. I was up until 1.30 a.m. detailing this guy, but I can officially say the Acti is now clean. I absolutely love it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I loved it before, but it literally feels like a brand new truck. It smells so good in here. Everything is so clean and nice to touch. And honestly, when I first bought it, I was like, yeah, it's, a, it's an old truck. It's gonna be a bit ratty, but it looks so good in here. So I think the next step is gonna be to take it to a mechanic, get them to go through it and just check that everything is as it should be. Like I said, there's some questionable clunks coming from the suspension. So I wanna make sure that's all dialed in. But other than that, I could not be happier with this little thing and I cannot wait to start going on some adventures with it. Uh, if you have any ideas for the truck, things that I should do, places I should go, let me know in the comments below. I just can't help but smile when I drive this thing and now that it actually smells half decent, it's even more enjoyable. So thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and most importantly, remember, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.